Hey everybody. So I got a new knife and uh, I embarked upon a little project and I would like to show you what I did. So how many of you carry a knife and a bottle opener that are separate? Uh, usually a knife that contains a bottle opener can be fairly large. So I came across a happy medium and I made a knife with a bottle opener as part of the blade. So I'm just going to go over this real quick. Uh, this is the CRKT Shrimp. And out of the box it has a few issues. Uh, I'm going to try to zoom in here and get it. If you can see to the left, and uh, let me point to it, that's the key fob that it comes with. Uh, it falls out pretty easy if you pinch it. So I ended up, and let me pull and get this out of the frame and pull this over. I ended up drilling a hole right there in the frame and put a tiny key, key ring through it. So that fixed that problem. There, there's problem number one solved. That was easy. So let me just back up real quick. Uh, let's go over the tech specs and then I'll kind of just jump right in here to what I did. Uh, the weight before the modification is 1.9 ounces on this. The weight after the modification on this is still 1.9 ounces. I was shocked to see no difference for how much blade material I removed. The finish on this is bead blasted stainless steel. The knife steel is 8CR13 MOV, so that's similar to your uh, Spyderco Tenacious, for example. Uh, you know, kudos to CRKT. They really gave this knife uh, the respect and, uh, oh, what's a good word for it, uh, the sturdiness in construction of a full-size blade on this thing. The only downside is is because the the scales are so thick and if you see here the blade is actually so thick that it actually has quite a bit of weight to it compared to other knives in its class. So uh, kudos on the strength but again you're gonna pay for it in the weight. Uh, not a huge deal though. Uh, it's not that heavy. At least in my pocket anyway. I, I don't feel it dragging me down. <laughs> Okay, so the blade length on this guy is 1.75 inches. Uh, closed, the knife is 2.5 inches. And opened, it's 4.25 inches. So it's definitely a good size, uh, especially for a smaller knife. Uh, one, one of the easy things is this uh, handle material, I believe, is aluminum. In fact, I'm pretty positive it is, uh, which makes it really easy to drill through and really easy to mark with a punch. So to make this keyring modification and get rid of this little fob over here, oh, let me bring that back in the frame and get rid of that little fob, uh, that's nothing. That was, that was like five minutes worth of work, if that. Okay, so let me show you what I actually did to this thing. And like I said, I got tired of carrying a tiny knife like this on my keychain and a bottle opener. I wanted one tool all into one. So here's what I did. I made a bottle opener knife. Let me move the camera and zoom in on that. So what I did was I drew a template out of my Victorinox camper and I transferred it onto the blade and then I used my Dremel with a cutting wheel and I used some sandpaper after that to cut a bottle opener into the blade of this knife. And the reason I selected this knife in particular to do this was is this knife is so thick I thought it could stand up to it and so far it has it's opened several bottles and not had an issue so you can definitely see there's a little bit of meat in the thickness of that blade so and I know it's not perfect in there uh, I polished it out a little bit but still you can see a few uh, Dremel marks in there but it's a bottle opener guys it doesn't have to be perfect Uh, you know, one of the things I keep asking myself about this knife, and I don't even know why they did this, was they have a little glow-in-the-dark uh, piece of plastic back there between the knife scales. Uh, you know, if you're going to keep this in your pocket, or you're going to keep this on a pocket clip in your pocket, it's never going to get any light, it's never going to glow in the dark. And when you have it out and you're using it, your hand's wrapped around it. So still, how is the sunlight or white light going to charge that glow piece. I just don't get it. Uh, the pivot on this is rock solid. Uh, no blade play. Love it. 
Uh, it's built very rugged for its size. Uh, we already covered the blade thickness. The lockup on this is incredibly solid. Uh, this is another reason I chose this knife. And let me show you guys this here. With the bottle opener on the back, and let me zoom out here, and when you're using this, you're using this with the blade up. Very, very dangerous, especially because it can fold back on you. Obviously, uh, some people might think I'm crazy for doing this, but look at the size of the lock on that guy, and look at the thickness of the blade right there. That is solid lockup. I chose this knife for that solid lockup. If I'm opening a bottle and I'm like this, I'm not going to say there's no way it can happen that the blade's going to fold back on my thumb. But I'm mostly positive and I feel comfortable using this just because the knife is so sturdy opening a bottle with this. So I'm not going to say it can't happen, uh, but I'm pretty positive it's not going to happen. Uh, the other thing that didn't really change on here was how easy it is to get this knife open. If you guys have seen this or you get on the web and see a picture of it, it's actually got like a little uh, groove cut in it right there for your thumbnail to fit in and you can open it. Since I left the hook for the bottle opener right there, it's just as easy to get open. Uh, let's go over the cons of this knife real quick. Heavy. Uh, it's just due to the way it's made. It's rugged. Out of the box, this knife was actually really dull. Uh, out of the box, it wouldn't even cut paper. Uh, I've since sharpened it. Uh, it can cut paper now. Uh, definitely a lot better. I just I, I expected a little more from CRKT. I really did. I just wanted a sharp knife. Uh, the casting of the lock. Let me show this real quick. Uh, this doesn't bother me a whole lot because it's a cheap knife. Uh, you get this in the bargain cave at Cabela's for like nine bucks. And let me get that close there. You see those marks from casting? There you go, now you can see them. You know, why didn't they buff that out in the factory? They have all the machining tools to do that. The rest of the knife is perfect. That's the only thing that's not perfect is right there in this little indention. They could have fixed that. Uh, not a huge issue, but uh, something still. Uh, the other con, we talked about this already, the key fob comes out easily. Uh, another con is sometimes the lockup is so tight it can be hard to collapse. I'm hoping that's going to go away after this knife is broken in a little bit. Uh, it's not too big of an issue just because this is a backup knife for me and a bottle opener. So if it's not a Friday night or not on a weekend, I'm probably not using it. So, But anyway, uh, that's the CRKT shrimp. And uh, that's the modification I made to it. Oh, oh, one more thing. I'm sorry. I totally forgot. The pocket clip. Uh... This comes with a pocket clip on it. It's cool that it does, but it's such a tiny knife, I don't know why it does. And this is just my personal opinion. If I compare it to uh, the tiny Victorinox knife, the little pen knife that they have, that doesn't have a pocket clip on it. This is a similar size once this knife is folded up. Why would you put a pocket clip on this? I mean, it's so tiny. Uh, I ended up just taking it off, it, which made it thinner, so it lets it fit in my pocket a whole lot easier. So there's the clip right there. It was easy to take off. It's just three tiny screws, and they're Torx. So like I said, uh, that's the mod, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So thanks for watching, and have a good day.